Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're going to check out Dice Throne. Season 1. Season 1. Rerolled. Episode 2. No. <laughs> Hour 30. Se season 1 rerolled. <laughs> so, the brand new. It's brand new. It's rerolled. And you know what else? We're going to be rerolling it. It's it. It's extra thick. It's a, it's amazingly huge. Yeah. <laughs> and it comes with these awesome like insert things for all of the characters. By Roxley Game Game Trace. Look at that. And Game Trace, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it holds all of the characters really nicely and the box shows all eight of the characters that you can play. <laughs> How cool is that? Cool. You've got uh, Season 1 Reroll comes with the Treant, Ninja, Paladin, Monk, Shadow Thief, Pyromancer, Moon Elf, and Barbarian. Yes. Um, this is the weird thing. The sleeves that we were sent. So you see the sleeve. Like the nor Normally the backs look like this on the Dice Throne cards. The Monk's ones looks like this and it's like a sleeve there are no treant sleeves or ninja sleeves so we have contacted somebody uh, I got to. to oh you've got you have not yet no oh i thought you already i don't even had. know if they exist i don't know anything you don't you don't even know i don't even know they might not exist fancy <laughs> so um this game plays uh it does play uh, two to six players, but this game really shines with two players, which is a 1v1 combat yeah. uh, type of thing. Um, when you're playing with multiple players, you add in a targeting role phase and to determine who, it, whatever. It's, uh, you know what? I think it's probably just better. Just you, 1v1. Hmm. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys out there in chat land uh, have played it with more than two players i'm interested to hear your uh your views on it uh up here in the chat so um they exist they weren't in the original s1 so it's a separate pack oh well then roxley would be able to get it to us then i, I yeah. would assume so um anyway um oh we have not chosen who goes first alexa Alexa, flip a coin. Hey. All right, then that's you. Me. Yeah, so you're you are going to be first. So, um, let's uh, take a look at... So, we're going to be the monk versus the shadow thief. So, everything that's that the monk needs is on the little handy-dandy player thing. Let's take a look at this huge game here. Okay. It's okay with three. Obviously designed for two. In chat land, you know we're real people, right? I know I've met a lot of you. Um, <laughs> it's true. So anyway, um, I'm the monk. She is the shadow thief. Oh, she's got her face over the... Uh, she's got her cards on her. Nice picture there. I know, but I got nowhere to put my cards, so... Uh, I guess I'll put my cards on top of my I, I mean, yeah, face. she's cool, but... She is cool. It's a good place for cards, too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so we each have... A custom deck. We got the nice sleeves that they have uh, given us. Oh wow, I've got I've got four different symbols on my dice. I do too. Oh wow, that's different. I know. We were playing with with uh, the barbarian last time and the the moon elf. Yeah, and they're both relatively simple to play. Yeah. Now and she beat me with one life remaining. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, each of the characters has a difficulty. Rating. I've got difficulty four here with this monk. Um, it's got all of the things you need to know about the monk, some fact stuff, all the components that are there. You will have eight additional counters in this game if you put all of these components in their respective trays. Um, since the components aren't limited, uh, you're, I mean, you're limited to an amount of tokens you can put per character. Um, but I don't think that the, that the tokens are intended to ever run out. So if you wanted to, you could put those eight extra tokens in any of the characters that something applies to. For example, uh, this evade token 
is used both in the Moon Elf and the Monk. So if I've got extra of these tokens, I could put them in either of those uh, characters. And on the other side, it shows all of the Monk's cool abilities and the dice faces that I have on my dice. Each character has five custom dice. Ta-da! So nice. They're so nice. We also have the awesome Dice Throne dice tray. And inside, you guys can't really see it all that well, but it says Dice Throne on one side and uh, on the short ends, and on the long ends, it says Keep Rolling Sixes. <laughs> So keep keep them coming. Keep rolling sixes. Keep them coming. Because sixes, if you roll five sixes, you're going to activate your ultimate ability. Ultimate ability. Ultimate. Yeah, I don't have uh, Derek's cool echo effect. No. It sounds much better. Well, yeah. Ultimate ability. Ultimate. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is we are going to have an upkeep phase. Um. Then uh. An income phase. Well, upkeep phases. If you have anything that says that there are status yeah, effects or passive when I, when abilities, yeah. When I poison you a whole bunch, yeah. Oh, does that happen that, at up get that, upkeep? That's gonna be a nice that's upkeep. That's going to suck. <laughs> that's gonna be a nice upkeep. For you. <laughs> <laughs> They're limited on action. If you're playing six headed, you might run out. Oh yeah. Now, I know there's a stack limit, but that's per character. So like, I can stack a number of tokens, like. For example, yeah, this chi token, I can stack five on a character. But the uh, the evasive, I can only stack three on a character. And knockdown, I can only stack one on each character. So, yes, that part matters, but the tokens are not intended to be finite. Um, somewhere that I read that. I don't remember if it was in the yeah. rules or on the on the forums. But the, the tokens are not meant to be finite, but the stack limit is meant to put, is what... Puts the cap on there. So, after the upkeep... Take two. After the upkeep phase, uh, you're going to have an... What are you... You're squirreling. Just moving it out of the way. It's in my way. You're going to have an income phase where you gain a CP. CP is combat points. Hey, we have a little cool little combat point counter here. You're going to gain a CP, and you're going to get to draw one whopping card from your deck. Um... Since Steph is a star player, she skips her first income phase. Oh, Aww. that's too bad. I had to do that last time, too. Yes, you did. Uh, and then you're going to have a main phase. Uh, then you're going to attack. Then you're going to have another main phase, sort of like Magic the Gathering, for those of you who play Magic. Uh, and then you're going to have a, a discard phase where you have to uh, discard or sell cards for one CP each until you have six or fewer cards in your hand. So during the main phase, that's when you're spending your uh, combat points to play hero upgrade cards or other main phase action cards. Any main phase action cards will have a little M right here with the, with the cost above the M. Uh, it actually says what kind of card this is. This happens to be an upgrade card where I'm going to upgrade one of my abilities. My Meditate will turn into Meditate 2, and I'll have another little ability that pops up, the Zen Strike ability. But I can only play this on the main phase because I got a little M there. Yeah. Um, if I want, if I don't have enough CP, I can discard unwanted cards for one CP each. Notice, you will never get these cards back unless you've got abilities that let you fish cards out of your discard pile. Because you, unlike a lot of other uh, games uh, where you have... Uh, Unique decks. Once you have exhausted your draw pile, you do not get to draw cards any further. Um, after the um, after the main phase, you're going to have the offensive roll phase where you can roll basically Yahtzee style. You're going to have three roll attempts. And then you can activate one of your offensive abilities that your, uh, that your dice result will let you do. My close-up camera is not focusing. Uh-oh. I'll have to get Steph to mess with that. Um, and she is not currently here at the moment. Um, so, uh, let's. Th there are some that want a combination of symbols. 
Uh, there are some that have small straight and large straight. Um, Yahtzee! Yahtzee! You need to you need to fix the focus on this. Less focus. Yeah, you need to fix the focus on this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's off. So oh, if you could, you. you see what see what we're saying? Yeah. If you could fix that focus, that'd be good. Better. Is that good? All right. Should be. Um, then comes the targeting roll phase. If you're playing with multiple, now it's in the way, Steph. Okay. There you go. It's fine. I'm going in. Yeah, then you got the targeting roll phase. You skip that in a 1v1. Um, and during any of these offensive and targeting and defensive roll phase, anyone can play cards that are not limited to the main phase, such as this card here. You see it's got a little die right there. You can actually see that this is used during the uh, any of the roll phases. So, um, now... Nothing in the rules says that I can sell unwanted cards for one CP each if it's not my main phase or my discard phase. So that's how we've been playing it. I'm not sure if you guys out there know for sure whether it is different. Um, but the rules don't say that you can sell your cards for one CP each when it is A, not your turn, and B, not your main phase or discard phase. So if I wanted to play something during the roll phase, I would have needed to prepare for that ahead of time. I would say, yeah. So that's how we what we've been doing. Dan says that's right as far as I know. Thanks, Dan. Uh, then uh, I am basically going to um, I'm going to target the person who I have targeted based on the targeting roll phase, which in this case it's going to be Steph, and I am going and she is going to do a defensive roll phase. Some of the actions that I have, it normally most of them are just called normal damage. Normal damage is defendable, avoidable, and enhanceable. All right. Mm -hmm. Defendable means that you can roll your defense die, your your dice in order to do a defense roll, and you are going to be able to gain certain things uh, with the defense roll. Sometimes you will deal damage back to the other player. Sometimes you will heal, sometimes you will block damage, things like that. So, uh, in my case, I'm going to roll four dice, and if I roll a, one of my Zen symbols, I'm going to get uh, some Chi tokens, and then I'm going to deal one damage back to Steph uh, for every one of the fists that I roll. And But that's only if the roll is defendable. Some damage is called undefendable damage. It is avoidable and enhanceable, but it's not defendable. Um, there is such a thing called pure damage, which is not enhanceable. It's also not defendable. Um, and then there is collateral damage. It's defendable. I mean, it's not defendable. It's not enhanceable. It is avoidable. And it has special targeting rules, meaning uh, you don't actually roll the targeting there's special certain rules that happen with targeting. For example, you might damage all of your enemies a certain amount. Um, and then there's the ultimate damage. <laughs> ultimate damage is not defendable. It's not avoidable. She can't even play any cards against me. If I've got a token on me that hurts me and it came from her, like for instance, it, the moon elf would blind me. Um, blind would not work. If I do, if I manage to pull off this ultimate attack, uh, it is enhanceable. Um, Dan says original flavor damage, diet damage, and no fat damage. Um, fortunately, there is a cool aid in the book. If you if yeah, you don't know that. what, actually, I don't think I need it anymore. I think it's uh, it's it becomes easier to deal with uh, the more you play. Um. Just letting you know, there are lots of different types of damage that you might encounter on a card or an ability. Um, then, during the cleanup, if you have more than six cards, you have to sell down to six cards. Otherwise, that's the end of your turn, and then the other player goes. We go back and forth until one player knocks the other player's health all the way down to zero. So, um, basically... The entire game is based on what you have in these cool abilities and your cool cards. 
as you upgrade these abilities, for example, my Serenity, I can turn it into Serenity 2 and I will place this card right over the top. And it's going to enhance this Serenity. That's pretty cool. Notice it's the same effect, but I'm rolling five dice now if I have this. I do have a question. Bob. Yes! I have two defense rolls. Do I roll twice or do I pick one to, to uh, roll? I believe you are going to pick one to roll. Um, let's see here. Um, then the, def the resolve any effects from the offensive ability that require a target and are not damage related. If the offensive ability results in an attack and the attack type is defendable, you may activate their defensive ability. Most heroes have one defensive ability. If a hero has two, they must choose one now. Mm. Now. Choose one now. That seems pretty cool. That seems pretty cool. But it gives me one fewer chances to... One fewer attack, yeah. Yeah, for attacking. So we'll see. Well, the thing is, is that some of these abilities will split these boxes into two. Yeah, I so had that sort of for cool. my moon elf. <laughs> um, here is another thing that, that could come up. Serenity 2, Electric Blue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just can't uh, hear dancing, Bogaloo. I could hear it. <laughs> uh, if, meta, if you upgrade Meditate, you can upgrade Meditate directly to Meditate 3 if you want. However, if you have upgraded this to Meditate 2 and you want to upgrade to Meditate 3, you only pay the difference in combat points. So if you upgrade straight from 1 to 3, you're paying the full card cost so uh that should pretty much cover it all um how many cards do we start with we start with don't know uh top four cards of your deck one two three <laughs> four the food they're on it they're on it four, four, they're on oh look at that <laughs> four, four, boom four. I was going to guess four, but I don't know things um actually let's talk about our characters for a second yeah um if I roll three fists, uh, I've got fist strike. If I have fist, three, four, or five fists deal six, seven, or eight damage. If I have three Zen symbols, uh, I gain five chi and gain evasive or cleanse. Hey, let's talk about my abilities. Chi. I may spend chi tokens to increase or reduce damage. They may be spent at any time to prevent one incoming damage per token. Alternatively, I may spend chi to increase my attack by one per token spent. They may not be used to increase damage the turn it was gained. That makes sense. Um, I have evasive. I can spend these to try to avoid damage. If I roll, if I spend it and roll a one or a two, boom, I have avoided that damage. If I miss it the first time, I can roll. I can do another one of these evasive tokens. Uh, I have a stack limit of five on the chi and three on the evasive. Uh, I have knockdown, stack limit of one, meaning I can knock her down once. That'll, that's sort of nice. That's rude. Um, spend two CP or skip the offensive roll phase. To remove this token, a player who has it has to spend two CP before the start of their offensive roll phase. No. If they do not, they must skip their offensive roll phase and then remove this token. And last but not least, I have cleanse, a stack limit of three. I can uh, spend this to remove a status effect token. I can spend it at any time to remove one token from myself. What can you do to me, by the way? Poison. Poison, yeah. I probably want to cleanse myself of That's poison. That's persistent. Now you can have up to three of them. Persistent, meaning it doesn't go away unless I have an ability that makes it go away or something that says remove a status token. Hey, like that cleanse. Whatever. Yeah. And that's going to deal one damage to you. Undefendable damage every time it's your turn. So, Col yeah, Color of Light Girl says what I usually do is keep the stack limit amount of tokens and put the rest away. That's perfect for 1v1 battles. However, if you have 1v2, yeah, it's a um, then you've got to keep double that amount of stack tokens. But, yeah. 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 The food, <laughs> the food, <laughs> the food confirmed. <laughs> All right. Am I rolling this dice? Um, I was going over my abilities. You said poison. Okay. I don't know about... So that's one every upkeep? Yeah, you... Per token. Yeah. Uh, I can be twice as poisoned? You can have up to three of them. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I can do positive effects for myself. Um, having a sneak attack. Sneak attack, Uma. Sneak attack. And then shadows is pretty good. Basically, 
What is Snake Attack? No, 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 no. What's Snake Attack? At, at the end of my attack, <laughs> I, want to know I, roll, what these do. I roll a die and give you more damage based on the value. No. Yes. No. That's what happens. No. Yeah. That's bad. Snake Attack. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, the shadows, shadows is really good. Um, no damage is received. And no defense is made. If, if For who, for what? If I have shadows, you do no damage to me. And that's it. And you spend your token, or are it you goes away? What? Yeah. For the next turn, basically, you just lurk in the shadows. I, if I start my turn with this, then it will go away. But okay. basically, if I get it during my turn, it's then throughout the next throughout turn. throughout my next turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going with these. Three fists and a palm. I deal six damage and roll a die. Based on what I roll, it might do more damage, or I can gain some chi, or I could gain evasive or cleanse. Um, the three fist becomes a tempest rush. Roll three dice. I'm gonna get to deal damage equal to the total value. If that value is at least thirteen, boom, knock you down. Poo, palm in the face. Oh. Small straight to deal six damage and gain two chi. Fist of tranquility is a large straight deal seven damage, then gain evasive and three chi. Lotus Strike is four Lotus Symbols. Deal five undefendable damage. Then increase the Chi stack limit by one and gain five Chi. So I should probably... Is that permanent if I increase that stack limit by one or is that just for that one time? Um, oh, Serenity is my defense roll. I already talked about that. My ultimate ability is transcendence five lotus symbols i gain evasive and cleanse i inflict knockdown and 10 damage no. increase my chi stack limit by one and gain six chi i think it's just temporarily increase the stack limit by dan one dan says it's permanent so stack limit increase is permanent you just keep track of that just by adding more chi tokens to your stack i'm guessing that could be that helps me Keep track of it, I guess. Permanent, permanent, permanent. We have confirmation it is permanent. How, how about yours? You have a bunch of daggers here that does four, damage. four, six, eight damage. And if you roll... Money bags. A money... Is that... It's called bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. If bag is rolled, gain one... CP. Ca uh, one CP. Oh, her abilities have a lot to do with dealing damage based on the amount of CP she has. That seems like it. Ah... Uh, I like how we all confirm each other's statement. <laughs> like we like we don't believe you or something. <laughs> uh, if you roll the shadows, that's a shadow roll? Yeah. Oh, it is six. It's a shadow. Inflict a poison. No. <laughs> seems good. That seems really bad. Pickpocket. Two bags gain two. Three bags gain three. Four bags gain four. If shadows was rolled, up to one CP be may be stolen from me instead. Yeah. Small straight, gain 3 CP, then deal a half of the CP as damage rounded up. Now, it's CP is very valuable. It's hard to keep CP and, like, not, you know, not spend it to upgrade your abilities. I mean, you want to upgrade it for abilities. It's like having a Greek chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Large straight, gain 3 CP, then deal all of your CP as damage. That does not mean you spend your CP. It means that whatever your CP is on, that's how much damage you're dishing out. All right, what do we got here? Three shadows. The uh, shadow dance. Ro <laughs> ah, roll a die. I know somebody, one of my friends has a, uh, Sean's sister has a um, username of shadow dancer. Mm. So she would like, she would like that. Um, roll a die, deal one half the value as damage, and then gain shadows and sneak attack. Sneak attack, Uma. Uh, you've got two cards. Carducopia. You get to draw one card for every card symbol you have rolled, right? Yeah. So, if you roll five cards, you're going to get five cards. Yeah. That's really good. And then discard a whole bunch for CP. That's really <laughs> friggin' good. Shadow Defense. It is a defense roll with four dice. And you might want to read that because I can't on read it On two swords, box. inflect poison. On a shadow, I get a sneak attack. On two shadows, I gain a sneak attack and a shadows immediately, uh, ignoring all incoming damage. Immediately. From wow. And then the counter strike yeah. is five. 
dice. And I get one damage per sword or knife and on a sword and It shadows. says it right there, dagger. Dagger. Uh, dagger and shadows inflict poison. Ooh. All right. Seems fun. I'm going right. to read my cards here. I'm rolling. You're rolling. You see me rolling. I got cards for days. I'm going to take mine out. That I didn't, looks like by cards. the way, I didn't want to play any of my cards. Uh, yeah, your hand limit is six, so that's not great. I mean, Well, it I know, is, but, but I'm going to discard a whole bunch of cards. For a CP. Mm -hmm. Or I can simply go four more shadows. Shadows. I kind of want to draw a whole bunch of cards, but what do I know? Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Dude. I don't know. I just ha I always have to go for the Hey, Loopy. Hello. Shadow dancing. Well, that's not bad. That's right. You know what? I'm just going to maybe stop like this. Stop like this? Two, 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 three, six? I might try for another sword, though. That's going to do, what, four damage and... Give you poison. And gain a CP <laughs> and give me poison? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. No, four. nice. Six damage and poison. Yeah, six damage to you and poison attack. Mm. Uh, I get to defend. Sure. Move your crappy dice. You can roll, remember? It's brilliance. Uh, it looks like a lot of stuff. I gain one chi per chi I rolled. And deal three damage right back to you. Why? With the fists. Three fists in your face. Well, that's not How much damage did I take? Six? Six. Down to 44. And a tasty poison. <laughs> tasty, too. Tasty. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Yep, but I guess that's about it. Well. Upkeep. Upkeep. Tick Tick tock. tock. <laughs> 43. I, unlike you, gain a CP and a card. <laughs> that's an evil laugh. That's an evil laugh. For 2 CP, what? <laughs> I'm going to take a token and give it to another player. <laughs> I don't think she has a way to get rid of it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. TikTok, Steph! <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um, then I'm going to get paid. Basically, it's just gain 2 CP. Don't you wish you had that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Back steps Kickstarter. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. <Doctor> Sign. <laughs> oh, boy. So you played that card that did that terrible thing. That was really good. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to roll some damage. Love Steph's calendars. That's right. Uh, uh. Wow! That's like, is that your that's, bestest? No. no. It's five cheese symbols, though. What? Look at it every day. Yay! That gives me five chi and evasive or cleanse. But I mean, do I need the five G? <laughs> it's four, 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 five, five. I mean, it seems terrible to like get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. What 
what did those tokens do to me? What what tokens? The those, chi tokens? Yeah. Either prevent damage from uh, for one each or give extra damage for one each. Mm. So that's like five damage built up. That's in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So exclamation points I can play at any time, I guess. Well, sure. Why? You want me to... Are you... No, I'm not done yet. No, it's you. You do this, you. This, it's still me? Yeah. I was making sure because you see a little wanted, antsy there. I wanted to make sure that I could do exclamation points at any time. <laughs> uh, sure. I think I will take cleanse to pre get ready for her poison coming up. Who's won more games between us two? Um, of Dice Throne? She's won the one game we have played. In general, probably. In general? I don't know. We have to look at the list. I'm going to play this card at the end of your turn. Okay. What does it do? Bye-bye. Bye-bye what? It cost me two. Bye-bye. What is it? It gets rid of my poison. What does it say? Remove a status token from chosen player. I choose me. Removing that poison token. Bye-bye. Yeah. So now it's my turn. Yep. Now you get one. I get one. Whoop de doop. Whoop de doop. Yeah, right. aren't you glad you had that? Maybe. Yeah. Hey, you got one CP. That's pretty good. Mm. How's that poison feel? I hailed it. <laughs> so did I. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to discard two of these for uh -huh. extras. Two CPs. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then what? Now I go. Now you go. Uh. I got bags. Yeah, bags for days. You got a lot of scattered mess there is what you got. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Can I get more bags? Should I go for bags? Let's go for bags and keep that one little dude hanging out. More bags. That's a card. Oh, you want to steal it from me is what you want to do. Well, yeah. Hey, it's a bag. All right. And an extra dude. I get, I get one from you and I get two. Wait, well, wait, wait. Up to one, maybe. Pulled. Yeah. All right. How many bags do you get? Three. You get three extra bags. I get one from you, though. And that it, well, I'm about to get it back. You. Gain one, draw a card. Did it. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Well, that'll make it so you can't grab it from me again. You don't know. Oh, I do know. I am going to spend all three of it to improve my Serenity to Serenity 3. What? Oh, yes. Seems good. It's really good. What are those cards like? I don't have any of those. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's time to do something. Something. There's roll number one. Red, red, red. You got reds. I've got two reds. That's yeah. not enough. That's a lot of reds. This serenity now and sanity later. That's right. Hadouken. Fire. Hadouken. Hey, Matt. One, one, four, six, six is not great. I mean, I could try for the Lotus Strike once. But, uh,. I mean, I've already maxed my chi out, so I really don't want to... Oh, I could spin this chi and then gain the chi back. That seems really good. If you good. get the lotus. Uh... Yeah, if I get it. If I don't, well, there's a third one. What? And my last try right here. Uh. You got a hand. I did get a hand. Well, that's not great. Three... Fire. Hate to do it, but I'm going to have to do an additional roll attempt of up to five dice. 
Gives me Ooh. one more chance to hit it. It is zero CP to play that card. Yes, it is. There's my fourth. I almost Come hit on. the fifth. Mm -hmm. Deal five. And five undefendable damage. That's ten undefendable. <laughs> You're doing five damage? No. What? Five and five. So I do roll. Undefendable. Five undefendable. Right, but you said five and five. So is and five still undefendable? Like, can I roll at all, or do I not roll defense at all? So, undefendable damage is enhanceable. I have enhanced it with my chi. Okay. One extra damage per token. Okay. I can use chi to increase attack damage by one. So I just lose ten damage. You just lose ten. Okay. So I'm trying to understand. Unless I've got it messed up. I think that's the way it works. And then I increase my stack limit by one permanently and gain five more chi. I mean, my second best attack. So. And then I think. I think I am good to go. You can't defend, but you can play a card to make him re-roll if you have it. That is yeah, correct. That is also true with the uh, ultimate ability. You can make them... You can alter the dice before it takes effect, but once it takes effect, nothing stops anything that happens. Blind doesn't stop it. Uh, avoid... Uh, evasive doesn't stop it. Nothing stops it. All right. I'm just going to roll. Just going to roll. Did you Did you take your one? I did. Did you take your card? I did. Oh, uh, then you've got seven CP. I need about to hit me. I got a hit. No cards. That looks like I cards. Want, I don't want cards. I want more sixes. <laughs> or a small straight. What do I got? I think I need to knock you down Three, so you have to five, spend CP. Six. Or a large straight would be great. I need. To, I just need to knock her down. I think. I could go for Which the means straight, I need the palm hill strike. It's not great. I need better. It's the only way I can knock her down. Just gotta, just gotta go for the sixes. This is the pressure luck part of the game. <laughs> There's some sixes. There you go. Oh, I could go for the small straight. Do it, Shadow Shank. Nah, I gotta do this. I gotta go for it. One Here more time. Go. One more another. Shadow Shank. Didn't do it. Not quite. <laughs> now what? I can try one more time. Try, try again. Well, that's what I did. I don't think it's worth it. So You do have Shadow Dance, which I don't have a 3-6 ability. I'm you just, do. I roll one die. And? Deal damage. Up to... Deal half the value as pure damage. Whatever. Pure. Pure I mean, damage. Pure is undefendable unenhanceable Ooh, Six. that's three so you get three damage pure and? and then i gain shadows and then i gain sneak attack sneak attack uma do i do that right now was that was say? that an attack what read it read the word there's lots of words on it read it then okay so after attacking a player with this token may spend it and roll one die to add the value of the die to their damage total. Keep reading. Attack modifier. Keep, that's it? That's it. Um, attack modifier. Oh, I gain it for another time. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's to modify an attack. Further, you have pure damage, which cannot be modified. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Get, say all the words. I don't know, man. Is that it? Mm, thinking about it. I'm going to play this card. I spend 2 CP. And you get this. For what? For this card I just played. Poison Wound. Can you share it with everybody? Poison Wound. Inflect poison on chosen opponent. You are being my choice. Uh, well, then I'm just going to spend it at any time to remove it. Boop. Goodbye. 
I'm cleansed. I'm going to spend two CP to draw three cards. That seems like a good trade. Well, I can always discard them for Exactly. CP. That's why it's a good trade. I hope that I make a run out of cards. I will spend this immediately. Shadow coin. Gain two CP. If, if in shadows, which I am, gain three instead. How about three? I'll gain three. Seems good. What else do I got? Don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. All right. Gain a CP, gain a card. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby in the backy. <laughs> well, that sort of sucks. But it does increase fist strike to fist strike two for one. I don't think I have any upgrades. And keeps her from stealing it, so. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh it's so good. Uh huh. Oh, it's so good. Here we go. It's possible I get nothing on this. It's possible. Fingers are crossed. <laughs> uh. Six, 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 five, five. That is a big nothing for me. Mm. I mean, I was in the shadows anyway, but if you got ultimate, I can't block that, I don't think. Oh, I didn't I didn't remember. Okay. Because shadows, I can't do damage to you. Right, but I think even ultimate would still be able to do damage. Ultimate would, but I would not have risked a double six roll, but... Eh. Okay, well... Yeah. Oh, so. uh, yeah, I probably would have gone after Meditate or something to get my cleanse back. But it's fine. I'll just roll with it. See what I did there. So the question is... No, I wasn't trying to go for the ultimate. I was trying to go for the just the plain old Lotus Strike. But Lotus Strike wouldn't have worked. Because she's in the shadows. I don't fully understand shadows. Because what she did was, she's like, shadows, when she's explaining what... it all. And I'm like, I don't really understand it. It's no damage is dealt to me if I'm in the shadows. Okay, so I should not have even tried. I thought you were going for the ultimate. Why no. wouldn't you go for the ultimate? Because I, I have a lotus strike right here. Sure. So, but I would not have done that third roll like that. I would have just rolled oh. all of my dice back. If I wouldn't have come close to it. I mean, there's no reason to do a 3% shot on an ultimate. Okay. I was going for the one third chance of rolling a six on two dice, which wouldn't have mattered because she's in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Now, now I understand the shadows. Now I'm going to keep better track of the shadows. I think it goes away right now. Yes, it Discard this go token away. after the effective player starts... And concludes a single turn while under its effect. Starts. I, I, I don't it's know. at the end of my turn, I guess. But what if I reacquire it by you doing this? You have a this? stack limit of one. So I can't. You I, I'm going to lose it no matter what. You are going what. to lose it at the end of your turn. Well, that's not cool. Yeah, I do not go for the ultimate when it doesn't make sense. I mean, I I would not have I would not have risked that had I remembered what her. If you want to retake did. your turn no. and take it again. No, I'm just I'm explain I'm talking to the chat. I'm not talking to you. Okay. I'm talking to the chat. It's in the name Shadow Thief. Yeah, but I've never played the Shadow Thief. I didn't know what I don't. This is the first time she's had Shadow, so now I'm gonna pay attention to when she has Shadow. And what I can't do to her when she has shadow. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Sure. I'm just gonna roll. I mean, it would have been it would if I had rolled on that second roll. If I had rolled one lotus, I would have been like, yeah, it's worth a one in six chance for an ultimate. Rolling zero lotuses, I would have been like, nope, 
bail on that one because it's, it's a, literally a 3% shot. There's no way I'm going to try that. Bag, bag, card, card, dagger. Two, three, four, five. Okay, small straight. Looks like a small straight. I gotta get a large straight. Let's go for a large straight. Well, both sides. There you go. You got your large straight. I gained three. And you gained ten damage. And How about five damage? Okay, five damage. And then I have a sneak. Oh, no, wait. First... First, I do my serenity. So I gain this and then I block damage? I don't think I block damage until the defensive step. May be spent at any time to prevent one incoming damage per token. How is this game suddenly Yahtzee? It, it's, it's exactly Yahtzee. It is, it is exactly Yahtzee. Resolve any effects. So I would... I can't use Chi to increase my attack damage on you the turn I get it. I think I can use Chi to defend at any time. Even if I get it here. And I think I can I can spend it any time to prevent the incoming damage. So because I've only got one more I can get, I can lower it by five right now. So it's still five incoming damage. If it got down to zero, I don't even get one of I don't even get this. You know what I'm saying? If it if it gets down to zero, I don't even do a defense roll. So I've still got, I've got five incoming damage. I roll my dice. That's three chi. And a fist and a palm. If I'd had a lotus, I would have gained evasive or cleanse. But I did not. So you get one damage. All right. So would, would I have already have done sneak attack? I don't know. Read the words. It says after, I don't have your. It, I don't have your. It says thing. after attacking. Are we still in the attack I, phase? Like read, I don't read the, read all the words. After attacking, a player with this token spends it and rolls one die to add the value their damage total. To your damage total, yes, you would have already rolled it, and I would have known there were more incoming attack damage. Fine, I won't do it. You you so go ahead and do it. I just need to know how much damage I need to block. All right. I'll do it. Five and six is now 11. Minus three is eight. So I take eight damage. You take one damage. Did you take it? I did. All right. Now, I, I, I'm a little frustrated when well, you're asking is... me how it works. I'm like, read the words, and you're like, after attack. No, read all the words. Well, I don't know if it's like after the whole attack is done, or it just says after attacking, which could mean that after the whole thing is resolved, and then I go in to do another... So I'm, I don't know. You also have a fact on the back of that. Yeah. So not, you should probably. It's all read about the shadows. That. It's not about sneak attacks. All right. Is it me? No. No. All right. I'm deciding if I need to do any of this. Got you. All right. I'm done. And the shadows goes away. I get a combo point. I get a card. You're up to 10 combat points. I think it's time to make you spend them a little bit. Hmm? I think it's time to make you spend them a little bit. What does this do? That's knocked down. I've knocked you down. Don't like my... to be let knocked down. It was zero CP, so it was worth doing. Well, yeah. Rolling. How about... Three more Lotus Symbols. It's teasing me again. But I can actually do damage to her this time. That's the fourth one. I could technically do nothing to her one more time. That sucks. You! So, what does the knockdown do? If you want to do your offensive roll, you spend two CPs. All right. 
I get? No help. Okay, I get a card. So I want to do this. Spend one CP. The attacking is weird. Think of it as combining everything you do, then pick the player, which is always me. Then I defend it again. What is that? I'm removing that with my get out of here card. For what? Remove one CP? a status token from chosen player. I, I paid my one CP. Do I want to do this? I'm never, I'm never even using my defense rolls. So it's like, why would I upgrade it? You don't ever let me get to do that. To ever what? Let me use my shadow defenses. I don't understand. You have 10 CPs. I'm not blocking you from doing it at all. No, I know. But the, my, my point is I never get to actually roll defense. Why would I upgrade it? Why do you not ever get to roll defense? I have deal damage, deal damage, deal damage, deal damage. Okay, so you've just I've got you've just never I can't dealt hit it. Damage. You've just never done that. I can't hit it. Well, I mean, when I roll three sixes, am I going for a small straight or a large straight or a fist combo or a palm no. combo or a meditate? I'm not going for any of those. No. I've got three sixes sitting here. What do I do? You go for this it. This is why I can't hit you. I know. And yet you still only have 36 damage. Yeah. All right. So all of mine is not undefendable. That's the thing. Only one of mine is undefendable. But that's the one I keep rolling. I gotta go for the shadows. Always gotta go for the shadows. Well, yeah. Because then that's the turns that I go for chi. You didn't hit shadows there. No, I still gotta go for it, though. The shadow dance? Yeah. Because that stops damage for a little bit. That's shadows. It is. Um... Alright, so I'm doing this. I roll a die, and you, and you get damage. Half the damage. Two. To what? Pure, to norm pure that, that, damage. That matters. All the words are important. I gain shadow. I'm in the shadows now. Okay. And I have a sneak attack waiting and holding. So. You didn't want to play a card. Oh, I didn't even get a card. I should probably do that. Yeah, that's worth it. I'm going to remove all your status effect tokens. Two fives, two sixes, and a three. Well, those fives were worth different whenever I, uh, whenever she had shadow. Could do the fist instead of all of the other stuff. Three, five, six is not real good. I'm going to roll these again. Uh, this is not turning out to be good. I could do nothing yet again. Because I get one chance for a palm. This is not great. Keeping two fists on a palm. There's another fist. And a lotus. Doesn't matter. Fist, 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 palm. Deal six damage and roll a die. So that's six... Six and gain evasive or cleanse. I think evasive could... Uh, no, you don't have sneak attack anymore. I think I'll pre-get the cleanse. All right, the six damage. Uh, and I can actually use a defense. You right? can actually do it this time. All right. That's what I'm saying. Most of mine are normal damage. I just haven't done it. Um, I'm going to go for four dice, this one, the shadow defense. 
I get inflict poison, which you're probably going to just cleanse right away. Right now. And I get a sneak attack. Oh, no. That sucks. All right. Any other things from you? Yeah. What sneak attack do? When I attack, after attacking, I roll. I can use this token to roll a die and add the value to the... No, more, just more damage. One to six value, yeah. Not the worst thing in the world. All right, you. Me, I gain one and one. One and one. Wow. Um. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Looking for a large straight. This is a small straight. Three, four, straight. five, six. You just need a two. You need a two. Two chances. That's a two. Didn't hit the missed, tray, but you got bowl. it. <laughs> I gained three. And then deal half CP as damage. Deal no, full CP as damage. 14 damage. damage. Uh, it's not unblockable, so let's do this. Dice throw! Ooh, I could gain evasive. Uh, those do nothing. None of those threes. Are you kidding me? I gained one chi. Woo! 13 damage. You. I assume I can only get up to 15 CP. I think you said that. I uh, don't know. Why don't I look at this? Place uh, I mean, if your CP doesn't go above 15, yeah, maximum of 15. I will upgrade my Shadow Defense for 3. And I will enter the Shadows for 4. Downside. Yeah, you're going to kill me. No doubt about it. Me. You. Me. You. Me. I just went. It is you. Um, Dan thinks 15 is plenty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fairly sure that is correct. It's never enough. I'm going to discard that to play Fist of Tranquility 2. And then not ever roll it. Well. I'm just rolling like dog crap. <laughs> Garbage. I am in the shadow. I've got everything. I have got everything. You don't have a green hand. I think, I, yeah, who cares? <laughs> Does not matter. What war was that? Well, that is one of everything. The way of the monk. Yep. Gain two evasive. And three undefendable, which doesn't work. Which doesn't work. Because you are I'm in, the, in shadows. the shadows, right? Yes. I cannot attack you? Correct. Is that what it says? When a player with a token is damaged as a result of opponent's offensive roll. Uh, that seems like damaged. Yes. No damage is received and no defense is made. Discard this token after the effective player starts and concludes a single turn. Fairly sure that's correct. Yes. Do not know for certain. It is avoidable with cards and status effects. That I would does it say the word avoid? I assume no so. damage is received. I just guess, I guess it's that same. 
Although the attack still succeeds and other effects may apply. Meaning I can still roll a defense if I can. Or is it Undefendable. Red? All right. So then. And no, if you take no damage, you don't do a defendable roll. Okay. You have to take at least a damage. Okay. Tokens and stuff, yes. But you have to take it. You have to have a damage incoming before you can roll a defense roll. Okay. Card this sneak attack. Oh my. Sneak attack. I'll look at your shadows again. So yeah, I can return damage on my defense if you are in the shadows. All right, if I'm if I'm dealing damage, if I'm attacking and dealing damage to you, I'm gonna use my sneak attack. Okay, just so you all know, right now, I'm telling you right now. Oh, we knew you were going to anyway. Well, I forgot last turn. Six. That's a scattered bunch of mess. Of course, you're gonna do that. Well, I always gotta go for yeah, well, the big. You know, sixes. you don't have another shatter to do. That's true. I shouldn't really do that. That's up to you. I should be smart. But I'm not. Because uh, she's going to do all... She's going to do five... She's going to go for the five sixes for no reason. I mean, it's still a ton of damage. I mean, it would still be 17 damage. Yeah, I can't... I cannot avoid it. If I go for it. So I might as well try. Do it! I yes, might as well do try. It. There's the third one. Do it. They're all wanting you to do it. Well, I'm doing it. Yeah, they all want you to. Then do it. Then do it. Chance to us. <laughs> I roll a die and deal half rounded. I don't know. What deal is it? Ha Read the, the words are important again. It says deal half the value is pure damage. Done reading. It doesn't say round it up. I was like one. Sure, and I'm gonna use that. That's one and a die roll. I can't. I can't defend against it unless I know what's coming. Two. That's two. Two damage. Yeah. I mean, it's almost bad <laughs> to like waste a defense on that. It's so bad. It's really bad. I'm gonna find out about that half damage. Most of them say round it up. This one does not. Oh, I know. This is the only one I've seen that does not say round it up. All right, two damage. And you know what? I'm going to take, take it like a man. So then do I get my sneak attack back? Do you get your sneak attack I back? I assume I do, but I don't know. Because then gain shadows and sneak attack. I don't think so. I also don't think you get shadows because you are in shadows. I'm going to be giving back shadows at the end of my turn. I understand that. But I so I need to know what the words <laughs> say on sneak attack before I can tell you when it goes away. After attacking. Yes. All right. So after you've done that. Well, this says then gain. So that's. You have a stack limit of one. I don't know. How about we look at the fact? There's nothing on the sneak attack on the back. doesn't make any sense but you both say i don't so i won't do it so both say fine. i don't both who you and colorfly say i don't get it back but that it can't be both ways so uh, that just means you can't constantly get it and get it and get it and get it that's what it means that's what the stack limit of one means i understand what stack limit means i just yeah if they meant for you to do it again and again like that they would have a stack limit of two Sneak, attack, dice, throne, BGG. No, my, my, my problem with the sneak attack is it says after attacking I do it, but then you told me that I had to do it before. Work, 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 working on it. And then. That work? Can I, can it, I, can I do this? It's fine. I, I'll just let you do it. It's yours. fine. I'm, I'm not taking it. I'm, so I'm reading something on BGG. It's your turn. 
I, I'm reading something on BGG. Okay. Tokens can be used at instant speed and fully resolved before anything else can be done. So normally, yes, you can use a token after the, the opponent does. However, note the sneak attack token says it must be used at the conclusion of the offensive roll phase. And typically players don't use evasive tokens, blah, blah, blah. Sneak attack must be used at the conclusion of the offensive roll phase. That's after you've done everything here. All right, let me look at another one. When doing my offensive roll, if I have sneak attack, it says sneak attack, and... <laughs> sneak attack. And I roll a damage ability that also gives me a sneak attack. Since it has a stack limit of one, can I use the one I had and gain a new one? Well, that depends. If you're talking about Shadow Dance, which is my guess, then no, you cannot. Since pure or collateral damage cannot be enhanced. Oh, was that pure damage? Did you do Shadow Dance? Yeah. Then you can't sneak attack. It's pure damage. <sighs> okay. Then it doesn't even matter. So, that's more words on top of the words. Steph is winning, but she's being persnickety. No, not persnickety. Uh, yes, completely. Very much so. In any case... In any case, I don't like the Shadow Thief. It's fine. Then why are you? Why, why did you become a Shadow Thief? I was going to be the Pyromancer, which is really the one I wanted to play, but the dice are really, 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 really hard to read, so... All right. That's what happened. How about this junk? All right, I'm going for it. And I'm going to fail epically. That's two. Number three. I've got nothing again. I literally cannot get anything. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> this character is too hard for me. That's all. I, I jumped into too much. I got nothing again. You. Okay, I got... That's about three turns, but nothing rolled. I got one of these, one of these. We're playing too difficult of characters. Jada. Starting to look like no one's winning. Yes. Yeah. I definitely like the, the moon elf better. You are this. complaining the entire game, and you won't even read the things. I read it and read it and read it and read it, and I don't know what you it's don't. saying so that's my problem. all right steph cannot play any characters over a three difficulty this is what's happening <laughs> so yeah correct correct not that hard yeah all the words are there oh i get that point back that you sneak attacked me for one point sure <laughs> guess i should take that back Terrible dice. Looks good to me. How about a lot of bags? Don't want bags. Anything but bags. Anything but bags. That was that That's was That's more bags. That was a two. Not that it matters, because it's bad. Yeah, if you don't want these dice to get hit, I would recommend not throwing it this way towards these dice. Yeah, I know. Pro tip, there's a whole lot of room out here. You can yep. throw it that way. It's too much. Hey, thanks, Aldi. Thanks, Aldi. Ten months, woo! How come it, it posted that twice on there? That's weird. We didn't. We, I didn't play the adventures ones of game of this or whatever it's called. The dungeon. Yeah, the one. pyromancer is pretty straightforward. We she was gonna do pyromancer, except the dice were really hard to see on the overhead, and so maybe in retrospect you should have done it anyway. Should have done it anyway. Oh wow! Look at all the tier the tier one subs. What? Thank you, Aldi. Thanks, Aldi. Yay. This is second edition of season one. They should have cleaned it up more. more. That's true. I I didn't see how it was before. I think we could have a hype train going on this. There would be a second hype train tonight. That would be there cool. There would be a second hype train tonight. How about a hype train start? I mean, I guess I'll just do that. I don't have what a are you choice. Doing? I get three of these. 
not good. But... All right. And then? And then I will... Sneak attack! No, you can't do that. Wow, the high train is already at working on level four? That's fantastic. I'll put this into play. That is Insidious, Strike 2, and Shank Attack. Shank Attack. Uma. Shank Attack. Shank attack. <laughs> All right, it's you. All right, I get another CP. I thought you were going to steal my one and only CP from me. I'm like, I can't get it going. I didn't, well, I'm not in the shadows, so I, I can't see. steal from you. So I see. Oh, weird dices. All right, let's Dan, see shut it. <laughs> I guess the lesson is don't stream any characters. You there haven't are, already played. There are too many characters to play this game that many times. The game is persnickety. <laughs> there are, because you know what's going to happen. We're going to play season two at some point, not that, playing anybody. That's the exact term I was said about you. You're being persnickety. Well, I know. That's why he said it. That's why he said it. Yeah. And that's why I think he said it. If yeah, you didn't probably. hear you say that, then that's pretty, that's really that's good. pretty funny. But I, you did just say it. <laughs> Roar. You know, I haven't had chi in like forever. You know what? I haven't had like you haven't, shadow shank at all. I haven't had transcendence. I could really go for shadow shank. I could really go for <laughs> transcendence. No. I've, again, I've got a mixture of crap. Three, three, five, five, six. Try to get event. Is it that much better? I can try. I definitely want to try. I can, I can always try. <laughs> Level four. I've drained already. Wow. Ooh. Welcome to two minutes ago. I just, just said that. I'm just kind of waking up. Steph is lagging. I'm a lag. <laughs> Derek, he's so cute, that little dude. All right, I'm going to go for the sixes. Nope, I'm not going for the sixes anymore. Color flag girl, you may have more patience than some people I can mention. What? Is that a, is that a, is that shade? <laughs> is that shade? That might be some... I feel like it's shade. Shade, shade, shade. Eating the bricks. Like... Uh, you know what? It's not even worth me rolling anymore. I think I'm just going to gain five chi. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. And uh, gain another evasive. Sure, why not? Oh, it's co-op. That would be good. Yeah, that's good. I no, guess gain the cleanse. There my major go. problem that I have is that I always have to go for the six Yahtzee. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's you. I have a problem that I have to go. Oh, Abraxas says we need to caffeinate. No more shade than a garden party. Did it? More are you, shade. Are you done? Yeah, I didn't do much. I gained a, I gained a lot of chi. <laughs> I've been sitting at thirty six life for a long time. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely know this. Whoa. All right, now is gonna be a great turn. It's gonna be great. I hope so. You're gonna kill I'm gonna me get, off. I'm gonna get all of the shadows. <laughs> uh, no, probably not. Why? There's one. One oh, shadow. But it's also like almost. It's a small straight. I could maybe get a large straight. Yeah. Okay. Go for the large straight. Yeah, sure. Let's go for the large straight. Nope. Let me see if I got a card that can help this. Sure. Four CP. Ow. Ow. No. This one. Three CP. Change the values of any two dice. I just need to change one, though. I have a large straight. What does that do? Gain four CP. Then deal CP as damage. Twelve damage. Can I use my sneak attack? Is it pure? No. Then you can use it. All right, roll a die. It's like 14 damage coming up, right? Yeah. Sneak attack is that much damage, right? Yeah. 14 damage. Yeah. I'm going to try to, to evade it. Well, I can, I can do my Serenity first. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Why don't people remind me of the cards that I have in my hand? I'm just... All right, well. 
So 5G brings 14 down to, well, I might not want to do it. Shrey! Hmm. Shrey! Shrey! Wow, Shrey gifting the subs. Thank you, Shrey. Oh, you know what? It would... We, we hit this... I think I think Michael hit that twice yesterday, and I hit it once. Or twice. Yep. With um, the elf... Moon Elf. Yep. Oh, you know what? All right, I'm going to spend these five. It brings it down to a nine. Eight, seven, six. On this, I gained evasive or cleanse. And no damage. So... Thanks, Derek. Dropped it down to six, down to ten. Do, 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 do. Ouch. All right, is that all you're going to do to me? Timon got a sub, and Scott got a sub, and Zach got a sub. That was good. Wow, it's fantastic. All right, yep, that's about it for me. Senpai, Cowbell, Clyde. Meeple Conrad, Bloody Liar, and Mom Gamer, Lucho, Grizzly Disc, Sweet and Low, Magra D, Gene on Team on Kestrel, Scott, Zach, wow. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody's got are, us up. Are you done? Yes. Gain, draw. Vegas, baby. What? This? Roll one, gain half the value of CP. Wow. How about two? It's good. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. It's Vegas, baby. DeFoob likes that one. I can tell. I can just tell. The aura of that comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to do this. I have to get this. Going for it right here. <laughs> right here. Do sound alerts count towards hype trains? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, right, here goes. I think I think they do. Oh, come on. One one four four five. I mean now's the chance I can actually do some damage. Damage. I'm gonna re-roll them all. So well, all of them, wow. That's in every. <laughs> well, I do have a small straight right now. Leroy! Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> and it looks like I have a small straight here. Deal six damage, I gain two chi. Uh, deal six damage. So I can try and. Defense roll. This. Sure, why not? I don't even know if I should actually do damage to her because she all she's gonna do is like go in the shadows and sneak attack and stab me in the face. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Instead, I'm just gonna roll. I'm not gonna do that. All right. What kind of what oh, kind yeah. of moat did I get? I did get one. Choo choo. I, I think it was this cute pupper. Stabby stab. I think it might be that cute pupper. He's really cute. He looks new. I will go. I'm gonna do the shadow defense. It could be that. What does that do? It gains a sneak attack. No. And shadows. Of immediately. course it does. <laughs> immediately, which means you don't do, take the damage. I don't take damage. <sighs> yeah. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah, can't ever do any damage. <laughs> you did once. Uh, At least twice. Yeah, like early in the game before you had twelve CP. All right, so now I go up. You're done. Yeah, what am I going to do? I don't know. You got cards. I got, yeah, I do have cards. You're right. You're right. I do have cards. All right, cool. Cards that aren't doing anything. I'm going to play this card, which I should have played a thousand years ago. Okay. 2 CP. Remove, yeah, you should have played that a thousand years ago. Remove all your tokens. Uh, no. 
Yeah. Remove all status effect tokens from a chosen player. Mm. They should have done that last turn when you used no. a bunch of tokens. No. No. Yeah. No. All right, cool. And now I'm going to do a... No. I'm going to gain the Shadow Shank. Yeah, this is now the time you're going to gain it, and you didn't roll a single one. <laughs> I didn't roll a single one. No. All She's right. dying for it. And I need to roll it. No. Okay. It's not good. This is not very bad. It's very, very bad. I'm just going to try and get them straight, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about those? Okay, it's something and I can do. A two? That's a one. I think that's going to be enough to kill me. Um, it's just trying to see what I can do. Well, how much is that going to do? Seven plus, plus a sneak attack. Sneak attack. Actually, this is free. I can get plus two. So, 13. I will be at 15 plus... I don't even need to do that because I'm gonna be at fourteen. That's the best I can do. All right, are you are you are you done here? Yes. Reroll that. Reroll this. Yes. What? Uh, what exactly what I said? Reroll it. That's your roll. That's my roll. Okay, so now I have to see if I can do anything about that. Um. All right. Yeah, because as soon as you try to do any damage, she's just like, shallow. And then it's just, she's gone. I get my reroll up to two dice. Or one die two times. Yeah. Man, that's bad. Well, you know what? Maybe not that one. <laughs> all right, all right. Instead of one, I'll spend four and do this. So I spent one already. Three more. Oh, that's terrible. To do what? Change the value of any one die. If I'm in the shadows, which I am, change the value of two dice instead. So this can become a four, and this can become a two. That's fantastic. Is that, what, is that done? Yeah. I'm going to change the value of any two dice. Can that be on me? Why not? What? What do you mean, what? Can, that can just be played on me? Well, why not? I don't know. We got a raid. Hard board games. Welcome to the channel. Raid. All right, there's your crap roll right there. I feel like that shouldn't, that, that can't be played on me. Would you like me to go to the rules? Yes. All right. Because I don't think you can do that on me. Yes. Okay. You can wait until I find it. I am playing twice as wild. He can just change. It doesn't my say dice my dice. It it's specific. Some cards say specifically my dice. This one does not say that. I'm trying to find on the type of cards. When you can play the types of cards. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm going to play this card. It's fine. It says any dice. Any two dice. As long as it's in one of the roll phases. I'm going to roll two dice. Um, which two dice? Roll phase action cards may be played during any player's turn. Mm hmm I'm gonna roll this for a four. I'm gonna roll this for a four. Do you have another one you wanna play on me? Nope, I do not. Okay, I'm lucky, lucky, lucky. What did you do? You did the card you weren't gonna do before? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I have gained four. Gain four. CP then deal, CP as damage, 10 damage. Okay. And I'm gonna sneak attack. Yay, done, woo! Five more. Fifteen. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, I could potentially block. Sure. 
I doubt it, but we're going to try. 15 is incoming. That's uh, 2 down is 13. On this, gain evasive. You take 2 damage. And here's my one chance to evade that 13 damage. Actually, I might as well keep the 2 chi and let it be 15 damage because 13 and 15 are the same. Yeah. On a one or a two, I evade the damage. And it's a one. We continue! <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> done. I was like, hey, we're almost done. No, we're not done. Okay. <laughs> I tried, guys. I tried. Me Apparently, too. he was able to evade it. Yes, I had evade. The never-ending game. It is kind of long, and and we are learning new characters, so it's even longer, I suppose. How about those? I see three fists. Yeah, are you shadowed? No. No. Making sure, because a lot of times you're shadowed. <laughs> this is the combo strike. Combo, combo. Hardboard games. What are we playing? I am going to, well, all you're going to do is go in the freaking shadows. Cool. I'm going to go in the shadows. I need something to gain evasive, I think. <laughs> First, make sure he's dead. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying to do just this. All right, give me a five. Uh, that's a two. Uh. That's a four. And that's, I think that's also nothing. Board Game Arena games. Excellent. King of Tokyo. Excellent. Excellent. I think that is nothing. This is kind of like King of Tokyo. <laughs> no, this is nothing like King of Tokyo. <laughs> hey, you have you have health points. Try and knock them down with dice. Uh, I am going to change the values of one of my dice to a six. Oh, so you can get the way of the monk. So I can get way of the monk because I have nothing else. The way of the monk. It gives me two evasive. Deal three undefendable. Ow. <laughs> yeah, like, it, like you care. I care. I no. care a lot. No. All right, gave my, my combat points and my card. What's this? This is not great. That's not great. All right, let's just roll. Let's get all all of the all the shadows. Stick me with the pointy end. Make sure I'm dead. What? One, two, three, three, five. You're almost there. You should keep rolling that four. Kind of wanna. Yeah, I know. Finish him. Finish him. I'm trying. That's not a four. That's not a four. Not good. That's a four and a five. All right, what are you going to make me do? Are you going to make me do something about that? Nope. All right, so I gained four CP, which puts me at the tip top. Yay. I deal 15 damage. Yay, 15 damage. I'm going to try to evade it. Okay. Uh, how about a two? <laughs> Suck it, Trebek. Um, now what? Wait, can I force him to reroll it, everybody? Uh, I am in the, uh, it's, I don't know. I think I can. All right, let's re-roll that. Come on! Oh my God! Now what? Now what? Nothing, you. Let me spend it. No. Jeez. Jeez. Dafu's laughing his butt <laughs> off. So good. Eat bricks, though. <laughs> Eat bricks. Why, thanks. I will. They're quite yummy. Thank you. <laughs> Draw three cards. I want that. Oh, I know you do. I keep trying to finish him, all right? Finish him. Dan. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Loaded dice for realsies. All right, I need ways to get more evasive. So, hey, let's try another way of the month because I've rolled scattered stuff all day. I mean, we can keep doing this. All right? day, forever, all never. All day, forever. 
What's this? Uh, looks like a two four four five six. Yeah, it does. Still looks like a two four four five six. At the does. Ah, oh, I did not get any CP ahead of time. No CP. Two. Uh, two two four five six. That's again a big nothing. I mean, I. I don't have anything I could even try to get. These hard characters are hard. No, they're not hard. I just they're not. This, well, so this guy doesn't have. I mean, everything is in groups. If uh, there's other than now, way of the month, but I I couldn't roll it. Yeah. No, I Physically mean, I, just I hear can't you. roll I it. I hear you. Um, is it me? Yep. All right, game one, back to fifteen. I gain a card. I can probably kill some of these. Um. Yeah, I should probably do that. It doesn't matter. This, I'll just let it be over. Play this. Let's get a large straight that you can just evade again. One, three, four, four, four. One, two, three, four, five. Large straight. I gain four, which is really two. two. Mm -hmm. And I deal four, 15 damage. Evade. Yay! We're done. <laughs> you don't want to re-roll it? I can't. With what? I don't know. A card that you've stashed away. Uh, with what? <laughs> with what? Gotcha. Yeah. With no CP. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yay! It's over. <laughs> so, the first... The... the the first game was enjoyable. This game was torture. So, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this. <laughs> I think it just depends on the people you're playing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I certainly did not like the Shadow Thief as much as I liked the I did the, not the care for the elf. month. So. so, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I like the game. I think it's good. I, you know, it definitely can run long. Mm, this, the, uh, yeah. I, I... So, it's probably a little bit too long for my liking, but... I like rolling I, dice. I like what it's doing. I like I like what it I like what it's doing. I just uh, sometimes characters speak more to a person than others. I guess. Um, yeah, I I I have split judgment on it right now. I <laughs> I loved the first game and I hated this game. I don't know. So it's fair. I don't know. That's fair. <laughs> it's too big to be on the fence about. It is the fence. I guess it's the it is a very big game. Uh, it, the production quality is nice. The production dice are fantastic. The dice are awesome. Dice are engraved. Yeah. Not just there are BGG or, tokens which or silks. are awesome, but I don't have. Yeah, them. I was in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> just go and go ahead. You you do it. No, it's fine. Dice are engraved, not just stickered or silk screened. So continue. That's all I had to say. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back.